so far we have um, created a schedule um, put in some sequences with it we put in put the correct dates in that we need we've got our original estimated hours in and which gave us some planned hours and we have scheduled out resource now if I'm going to do this for another project, I don't want to have to build this entire thing from scratch. I want to be able to put in a uh, put it in pretty quickly and perhaps build a template, which we can do here. So I'm going to go to maintenance, project management, and you'll see scheduled templates. So I'm going to build pretty much the same type of schedule via this template. Now there's one in here. This is the out of the box with a pretty detailed schedule here. You can do that if you want. I'm going to build one a little bit more simplistic. I'm going to do new template and uh, my schedule. I'm going to add that. And then what I'm going to do here is pretty much the same thing that I've done that we did before with the other schedule. I'm going to build it pretty much the exact same way. The screen looks the same and everything. So I'm going to go detailing, start in. We'll break this down this way status link i'm not going to explain all these since we did in the other, in the other videos so um, i'm just going to build this real quick so you can see it again i am going to add a resource of detailing so i can make sure that as i add my template we'll get my resource in there and be able to do a production schedule based off the resource so we got fabrication Change these few items and add. And the last one was erection just to track it. And I'm not going to have a status link there and I'm not going to have a resource. Now I need to also, with this template, I can go ahead and do my links. I don't have to do this next time either. So I'll just link these together. Save that. We'll go to erection and the predecessor going back to shipping. So now I've got my template built. Um, and so the thing I want to do now is just apply this into a, a project. So let me do that for you. We're going to go over to project management. I'll add a new project real quick. Um, project Batman. We're going to go ahead and save this project. I won't worry about contacts right now for this purpose. So now we'll go project schedule. So when I first come in and no schedule has been built, uh, it comes up asking me about tasks, but you'll see down here in the bottom, I've got an apply template button. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to pull my template that I did for my schedule. Go OK. And you'll see that brings in all of my tasks here. If I flip down through there, we'd see that I have it built just the way I did in my in my template and if I go to the Gantt chart I see I've got detailing fabrication shipping direction now all I have to do is just add my sequences in here for how I need it edit mode yes so we'll go one and sequence two and I'll just add three sequences in here maybe we'll link from previous when we're finished to start and add one more sequence three so very quickly i can build a schedule and this is especially good if you have a very detailed schedule um, where you it, it would take some time to build all the tasks out but even with this simple of a schedule it saves you time from having to do all that um, linking and and um, doing all the setup that you need there so very quickly, you can add that in there. Just go build you a template, pop it in there when you start off, and then, then you're off and running. Hope this helps. Uh, be watching for the next video next week.